Welcome, parents, to How to Teach Kids the Soft G Sound. Explain to kids that the letter G makes two different sounds, a hard G as in g glue, or a soft G that sounds like J as in j germ. Also, explain to kids that these activities will focus on words with the short G sound, as in germ, giraffe, gym, and bridge. It is important for kids to know that the letter G often makes the soft G sound when it is followed by E, I, Y, or it is between the letters D and E. Now read with them these words that have the letters G, E that make the soft G sound. First, let's look at the words that have G, E in the beginning position. Germ, gem, gentle, gerbil. Then read the words that have the G, E in the medial position. Danger, agenda, budget, and agent. And then read the words that have G, E in the final position. Cage, age, orange, and large. This is a template for the first practice page that kids will complete, and it is also the template for the first demonstration lesson. Now it's time to have kids make words with the letters G, E that make the soft G sound. Let's look at our first picture. We have a gem. Hear the soft G? G. So we're going to make it with the letters G, E, gem. Let's go across to this picture. We see this tree and then we see this tree. This is a large tree compared to this tree. So our word is large. Hear the J, the soft G. So now let's make a right the letters that make that sound j large this is a j gerbil so we're going to put in the two letters that make the g soft g followed by an e j gerbil this is an agenda an agenda tells the daily activities. So we're going to put a j, j, and a, the soft G in here using the letters G, E. Now we're going to move over to the next picture, an orange, j, soft G is at the end. And we're going to make it by placing the two letters G, E here, and we have orange. This is a picture of some balloons, a present, and the number seven. It looks like a birthday party. So this word represents age. The age is seven. We're gonna put the soft G in here with the two letters G, E, Age. Then we're going to move down here, and this is a little pet inside a cage. J, cage. G, E, for soft G, cage. This is a germ, and good, it looks like it's running away. J, J, soft G sound is made with G, E, and we have the word germ. And then our last word 
with a calculator shows budget. Bud j j it. So let's put the G E here for the soft G and we have budget. So let's go over all our soft G words. Read them with the kids. Gem, large, durable, agenda, orange, age, cage, germ, and budget. And this is a completed example. A great way for kids to recognize, read, and learn to spell words is to complete a crossword puzzle. And they find this very fun. So we are going to do a crossword puzzle with G words. One across is large. Two across is agent. Three across is cage. Four across is agenda. Five across is gem. Six down is gentle. Seven down is orange. Eight down is germ. Nine down is budget. And this is a completed crossword puzzle. It is important for kids to know when A, G, E occurs at the end of words with more than one syllable, the G still makes a soft sound, but the ending changes to idge. It does not make an age sound. So let's look at some examples. Cottage. Idge is the ending sound, although the G is still soft. We need to know that so kids pronounce words correctly. Then we have bandage, package, postage, and garbage. This is a template for kids to complete each sentence. Have kids complete each sentence with the correct A-G-E word. Postage, garbage, coverage, bandage, package, and cottage. Now have kids complete each sentence with the correct A-G-E word. It still makes the soft G sound, J, but it does not say A-J. It says I-J. So we're going to choose from the words postage, garbage, coverage, bandage, package, and cottage. Let's look at our first sentence. The letter had postage would make sense. There's postage, and that refers to the stamp. So we're going to write P-O-S-T-A-G-E. This looks like a cottage. Let's see if our word cottage is up here. Yes, there it is. We're gonna cross it off and write the word cottage in the space. C-O-T-T-A-G-E. The cottage was in the woods. <gasps> what happened? Did she hurt her foot? Did she hurt her ankle? We don't know, but she had a bandage right here, bandage on her foot. And yes, that makes sense. So we're going to write the word band edge. Let's go down here. There's something at her front door. The package. Package. We're going to write package on this line. P A C K. A G E. He looks like he's throwing some trash away. Let's see. He threw his trash in the hmm, garbage. There's garbage. We're going to cross it off and write G A R B A 
G E. And there is one left. It is coverage. The umbrella gives her coverage from the hot sun. The umbrella was coverage. Cross it off and then write C O V E R A G E. And now let's review the sentences to make sure they make sense. The letter had postage. Yes. The cottage was in the woods. Yes. She had a bandage on her foot. Yes. The package was delivered. Yes. He threw his trash in the garbage. Yes. And the umbrella was coverage. Yes. This is a completed example. Now we're going to have kids work with the GI soft G sound. Remind them when I follows a G, it usually makes a soft G word. So let's look at the GI that occurs in the beginning position of a word. So we have giraffe, giant, ginger, and gigantic. Then we're going to look at the GI words that are in the medial part of a word. Engine, digit, magic, and margin. We do not have a final position because even though there are a few words that end in G-I, they do not make the soft G sound in the final position of a word. Just as a crossword puzzle is a great way for kids to recognize, learn to read, and learn to spell words, so is a word search. And that's what we're going to do with the G-I pattern words that make the soft G sound. And we have engine, giraffe, giant, digit, ginger, magic, gigantic, and margin. And the completed word search. Now have kids practice the GY, reminding them that when Y usually comes after the G, it makes the G soft. So we have two categories where they are common, in the beginning position of a word and in the final position of a word. So we'll look at the beginning first. We have a gymnast, a gym, a gypsy, and a gyro. And for our final position, we have biology, energy, allergy, and ecology. Now have kids color in the circle showing where they hear the J sound, or as we call it, the soft G sound in the beginning or final position of the word. We have the example of a gymnast. And in gymnast, we hear j at the beginning. So that is why the green circle is colored in. This is a completed example. Let's look at the top row. The first word is j, gym. It's in the beginning position. Our second word is energy. It's in the ending or final position. Our next word on the top is j. Gypsy, it's in the beginning position. In the bottom row, we have biology, ending position. Then we have allergy, ending position, final position. And then we have ecology, where he is recycling. Ecology, we hear the soft G sound in the 
final position. Now we come to our last category of letters that make the soft G sound. We have E, D, G, E, I, D, G, E, and U, D, G, E. So let's look at our first one. Wedge, edge, ledge, and hedge. Then we have the I, D, G, E, bridge, ridge, fridge, and budget. And that one happens to be in the medial position. Then we have U, D, G, E. Fudge, judge, smudge, and then judgment, a compound word with the D, U, D, G, E in the medial position. And now we're going to have kids circle the word with the correct spelling and write it on the line to complete the sentence. He had a m of cheese. Which one is wedge? The topping was fudge. Which word is spelled correctly for fudge? The tree was on the ledge. Then we go to the next column. It was fun to cross the bridge. The hedge grew fast. And the last one, the fridge was full of food. This is a completed example. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And as always, I will put the link for all the teaching templates in the description section.